What are we gonna do today? What are we you gonna do today? You haven't seen this knife yet, Mickey. This actually, we don't do it often, but this is a knife from a subscriber, yeah? Oh. Because this is Infi Steel. Pussy knife, Infi Steel. Uh, this kind of has like a legendary status or something in, uh, in, the, in the United States of America. It should be like a crazy tough steel and nobody knows the exact composition, like the Rockstead steels, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But it should be like crazy tough. But how are we gonna test it? How are, what's your plan? Um, we're gonna try and destroy the knife of this subscriber. It's a $400 knife or something. Uh, but okay, are we allowed, actually allowed to destroy it? Uh, we are allowed to really misuse it. If we destroy it, I think we have to pay the man. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> but first, our sponsor. So you're a knife maker, huh? Making beautiful knives, yet nobody buys them. Seems like a lost cause. Well, not anymore with the Dutch Knife Exhibition. The Dutch Knife Exhibition is the best way to get exposure for your brand and your beautiful knives. Sir, sir! Wanna buy my knife? Hey man, what, you wanna buy my beautiful knife? Why doesn't anybody want to buy my knife? So if you're ready to sell your art, be there. The knife exhibition on the 23rd of April 2022 in the Evenemental Gorham. Get a table plus two chairs for 225 euros. One more? I'd say the sky's the limit, son. You want to sell knives? Knife making equipment? Leatherworks? What are you waiting for? Go to DKA, DK, D. DKEshow.nl and apply for your stand. But also be there if you want to buy a knife. I've been there almost every year and it's the biggest knife exhibition in the Netherlands. It's fun. I haven't been there no, ever. You are lame. Shouldn't we sharpen it first then? Yeah, I think we should sharpen it. Oh man, the angle of this knife is so high. I just don't have high hopes for this because it will sharpen in such a high angle. I would say even higher than the SC knives coming. That's crazy. So that, that means they might make, try to make it tough by giving it a high angle. Yes, all you cisgender freaks. That's what this knife is all about, extreme toughness. It however feels like the extra tension really isn't good. So this toughness better be legendary. TBK dropping, no. making us hair popping. Yeah. Oh yeah, boom. The steel felt so soft we had to test its edge retention to see where it ranks for a knife, costing over $400. But first, a more generic test. Feather sticks like a dream. Okay. But it is just so bloody big. But because the angle is so high, it does feather stick really well. And it can probably chop really well. Boom! Oh, oh. Yeah, I can't really chop well. Ooh. I think it's just already dull, Mickey. Uh, I want to try hard, but... Okay, there are still sharp parts, but it's already dull. It's just that, 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 that final apex. Yeah, but it didn't really yeah. seem to do a lot, so it is soft. Only where the big, the big nick was. Not racist. <laughs> it's just, such a bad joke. But only where the big nick is. <laughs> no, you cannot say it like that. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> so where the big roll spot is, the roll. Is uh, still is, dull. Is still a little bit dull, but the sharp, the dropping did a lot already. <laughs> Easy. Okay, now Mickey, something bigger. Let me let me get something bigger. Let me get something bigger for us to baton. Okay. I would say we <laughs> redefine manhood. <laughs> okay, but this is gonna be a stress test. Whoa, oh. holy shit. Okay, um, I think the knife is a little bit too small. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Ooh la. 
la It is cracking, look at that Shit, Martin. I think uh, I did it. I think I did it. Whoa! Oh my oh, god! Holy shit! That is. Uh, yeah, and then put that into small pieces. Yeah. That is pretty impressive. One job. Wow! It's came, it came in my face again. <laughs> it literally splashed resin in my eye. Oh, nice. Is this maybe the best Botana that we have now? Well, it's not us. It's well, not ours, but... You know, I, I don't know if it's the best, but... The thickness, the splitting power, the, the length... It does make one of the better splitting knives that we have held. What was the last knife that we thought was? Tops. Yeah, the tops was also crazy good, but this has a better spine for, for the batoning. So this would be the better batoning knife. Oh, whoa. Oh, this is crazy. That's also a way to crack wood. Okay, this kind of ruined the guy's handle grip. Mm. A next level batoning that. That is crazy. Next level. the baton it was like the best baton we ever made oh no no we don't have a baton <laughs> the knife won oh no what the fuck has the bat hij heeft de baton gesloopt jeez okay but somehow we cannot cut through the pen while the tops good I don't know why but how's the edge yeah I gotta say surprisingly well then we have to go over to one very harsh test. See that little piece <laughs> of bone there? Yeah. Your turn. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is cow bone. For those who don't know, bone is so hard it probably wrecked every knife we smashed into bone. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this will be the first one that survives. And? Nothing. Hey, but that is a that big is improvement something. over uh, 1095 because 1095 did chip a little bit with that. Yeah, so or far, roll. so far, what I'm thinking about this too is it's like a tougher version of 1095. That's just how I feel about it. Yeah, those, so there's two things left to do. One, shoot it. Shoot it. Two, Hit it through a damn nil. Ooh. Which chipped almost every knife yeah. we did at two. You also want to do a stone? No, I believe it can do a stone. Okay. Damage is much less than I expected. Of course, this did cause damage, but 
This is like a five minute sharpening job with a coarse belt to get it out. Something is a little loose because it's rattling and it is the handle. So the handle is actually the weak point. There. Marta pissing again. Seems somebody's about that day. It ain't me. Are you ready? I'm weapons free. Fire. So he's this, gonna, is, this is going to be a real good memory for him that he lent his knife to us. Yeah, I think this is what a big honor. <laughs> what a big honor for him. <laughs> I think this is a very good lesson for everybody to not send your knife to DBK. Yeah, and this is also why I 99% of the times don't accept a knife from somebody else to make a video on. Yeah. Okay. Want to check? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Put this on the anvil. And then baton it. Oh my god, let's go. Oh Jesus. That was Nils hard. Nil was in two. That was hard. Still nothing too bad. Make you look at this. This roll, this part, is where we hit the nil. So that's just like a roll. Nothing too bad, actually. So that is really impressive, I gotta say. On the steel anvil, eh, Marta? Yeah. So you gotta say, that is really impressive. Let's sharpen this knife up. Give me 10 minutes and I probably should get it sharp again. Okay, let's go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Martin. How long did you sharpen? I think maybe 12 minutes tops. That's, yeah, that's easy. 12 minutes. From, Martin, it is perfect. Look, look at that. Look at that level. I'll show you closer. Yeah, that is. <laughs> wow! What an amazing giveaway! Mickey, we are giving actually giving away a DBK knife number 16. Oh, Whoa. this is the last chance to get a numbered edition. Uh, we are giving away thanks to Tools for Gents the TRC South Pole limited the 10th anniversary edition. Yeah, we are also giving away. Leave an F1 3G limited edition one and to top it all off, a CVV folding knife. Mickey. Yeah, so my problem initially with the knife was that the steel I was very skeptical because it seems so soft and the edge retention isn't good, and yeah. the knife is actually really expensive. Yeah, yeah, it is. What's the price of it's, this it's, knife? It's, it's somewhere between 400 to 600 dollars that they, these yeah, knives go in. And, uh, so that I is mean, very expensive. I mean, to hype up a steel that big, I'm not sure if that is worth no. it. Well, I am 100% sure I do not agree with that. No. But then the knife. The knife is an amazing batoner, yeah? Yeah. It did, it did really good fair sticks with, the, with, the, with our own bevel. I think this would suit well in a military operation where, where you are in like an urban situation, you have to pry open doors. You know, yeah. the guys who open their food cans with a knife, yeah. that is where this knife would shine. Yeah, um, a little bit like Essie, I would it, say. I don't think we have done a destruction test that hard in recent years. No. But it absolutely did do the job. And yeah. I wanna, wait, let me grab my, my phone, because there's something I want to show you. I wanted to look up the composition yeah. to see if they maybe said something about another steel that you can, could compare it with. And the last sentence of this whole story and the yeah. whole uh, summary is, is, but the results speak for themselves. And I think that is exactly what happened in this video. So ladies and gentlemen, that, that, that's all we can say. Is it worth the, the four to six hundred dollars? In my opinion, it's no, not. Is, no. the steel, is the steel amazingly tough? It is yes, tough. it yeah. is. Yeah. It is. Please watch our videos every Thursday, 1 p.m. PDT. Give it a like. Go to our shop 
Is Check there out. still something there yeah. now? But new stock is coming. Yeah. Oh! And don't forget the, the, the Dutch knife exhibition. Yeah. yeah. If you go and uh, sign up there, you would help us a lot too. Yeah, and don't forget to visit as a visitor as well. Hey, bye!